Hi Aries, my Faisa Aries. What is up? Thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate the love and support that you guys have shown me. If you're not subscribed to the channel as of yet, welcome. Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up on this video. Make sure that you turn your notifications on. Okay, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, make sure it's on all, not occasionally, okay? Let's get into your romance oracle. Do not skip these messages because I have important messages at the end of the reading. All right. Let's see what's going on in your love life for September 2021. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aries, Fire Sign. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay, Aries, I feel like you or your person, someone has to let go of control issues. Someone is either controlling or always wants to control the outcome of things. All right. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So this might be an ex that you're dealing with. Okay, this might be another fire sign, a Leo. Maybe dealing with it. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. I feel like this is a cancer, a water sign. Okay, don't be afraid to ask for or accept help from others. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, romantic feelings. You have romantic feelings for this person. Okay. But I feel like it is time to let go of control issues, release this ex, let these friends help you. Even though your romantic feelings is real for this person, it is also worth exploring. Okay? Let's get into your tarot and see what's going on. Alright, y'all. I'm sorry for the shakes. I'm going to deal with that. Okay? So I see some of you guys are... Getting your justice, okay, Libra energy. You're getting that balance back into your life. That balance is being restored. I feel like a decision has not yet been made, but I do feel like, you know, um, there will be balance. You will get your justice. I feel like someone could be taking you to court or you're having some legality issues here. These might be challenging. Um, you may feel that someone is taking you for child support court or alimony, or like I said, a divorce, okay? These are unexpected changes happening in your life here. But I do feel like this is a karmic person that you're dealing with, and I do feel like this may be a repeat of a karmic cycle. So I do feel that you will get your justice, you will get your balance, and things will be looking good for you. Things will be looking on the up and up for you. I feel like you may be going to court. You may be getting some money, something unexpected. Okay, you're getting something here, and I feel like there's a balance here coming back into your life, coming back into your energy. But I do feel that, you know, the scales will be balanced for you. Right now, I do feel like you guys are feeling the need to want to be alone or be left alone here. Okay, you could be dealing with the Virgo. I do see someone is detached. Someone wants to be left alone. Okay, but I see you're very wise. You're very, very smart. You may be dealing with an older man, but I feel like somebody's going through a metamorphosis. Somebody's going to change. Okay, for some of you, someone here is going to court. It may be some money involved in us. I feel like somebody's going to have a metamorphosis of body. Metamorphosis, they're going to change their appearance. But I do feel like um, someone is soul searching, um, going through a deep, dark night of the soul. Okay, someone is being guided here. And I feel like this is you, um, Aries. I feel like you're wanting to be left alone here because, you know, you... Have to cut off people, places, and things that no longer serves you, your highest good. I feel like you may have cut someone out of your life or someone around you um, wants to be alone because um, they cut you out or you cut them out. Something like that. Take it how it resonates. Only you know your story. Okay? You feel like this person puts you in conflict, competition. You feel like this person plays mind games with you. 
For some of you, this is your person, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I do feel like this person may feel like you play mind games with them. Like you're deceptive. But somebody's deceptive here. Somebody plays, um, somebody likes to mind fuck you. Someone wants to get over on you. They want to try to get over on you because they're juggling you and another person here. They're juggling you and another person in a relationship. And I see that this, you know, you may not be speaking to this person right now. At this moment, no, you may not be speaking to this person with the five of swords. This is someone you had a falling out with. This is somebody you may not have spoken to in a while. But I see some of you may be indecisive as to if you want to move or relocate. Okay, because the Two of Pentacles is here with the Chariot. So I feel like some of you are weighing up the pros and the cons on if you should move or if you shouldn't move. If you should stay or you should go. You know, I feel like someone here is unsure if they want to move or relocate. But I do see you moving forward here. I do see you moving ahead here. And I do see a lot of you are keeping quiet about this. A lot of you are keeping quiet about this move. If you are going to move. I do feel like um, you had a falling out with someone, but you're not sure if you're going to move. But I do feel like you're going to weigh up the pros and the cons about a situation before you move. And I do feel like, you know, eventually you're going to end up moving and relocating. Okay, for some of you right now, I feel like you guys are practicing celibacy. Okay, I also see that you are listening to your intuition. Okay, and your intuition is telling you something. You're sensing something here, but you're keeping quiet about it. The initials J or B may be significant. Okay, and I do see this is a very intuitive person. So, I feel that you're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. All right, um... You're not sure if you want to move, and I feel like you're listening to your intuition about the situation here. But I feel like you're going to weigh up the pros and the cons before you move. And I feel like you are going to move forward, but you're not going to tell anybody about this. You keep it quiet about this move. Your intuition is, is, is telling you to keep quiet about this. Okay? For some of you... um. There's like something hidden or a secret. So this may be your secret or someone else's secret here. All right. Yeah, I feel like someone here, you may be dealing with the parent of your child here. This may be your baby's father or father figure in your child's life. I do feel like someone is overthinking, very analytical about something right here. This could be you overthinking the situation. But I do see you balanced in your emotions. Your emotions are not all over the place. But this person you're dealing with doesn't like wearing their heart on their sleeve. They don't really do that. And I feel like they're not outwardly expressing um, how they feel about you or this whole situation. But I feel like this person, they do have love for you. They do have love for you. Um, we're going to go more into the tarot and see what's going on. Alright, because I do feel like... There's a sense of conflict and drama with the person that you're dealing with. It could be your baby's father or father figure. There's a lot of drama, okay? Or well, you're very pissed off at this person for some of you. For the rest of you, this person or you, this may be you conflicted within a, about something. This person may have put you in competition with other people, all right? You, may, you guys may be fussing, fighting, and arguing in the community, so... Uh, this is like where townhouses are. You may be fighting around like in public or something like that. I don't know. Just be careful, you guys, okay? Oh, be careful. Why is the five of swords here? You're not speaking to this person at this very moment. Let's see what's going on with Aries and love. Fire sign of Aries. Thank you so much. Oh, that fell right out. Yeah, you're not speaking to this person. They play mind games with you with the Five of Swords showing up. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This person plays major games. This person is very sneaky, deceptive. This person could be a thief, okay? 
Um, this person, you know, is a liar, a cheater, a manipulator. I mean, you name it. This person was trying to get over on you, Aries, and they were trying to get away with it. Um, this person, you know, feel that, especially with the judgment and the five of swords here, the person feels like they made a bad decision about doing whatever it is that they did. And I feel like it's this juggling act. It's this juggling act. Okay, you could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or your person is. All right, because your energy is fire. All right, your energy is 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 fire sign. So let's see why is the Two of Pentacles is here. Clarify the Two of Pentacles for Aries, the fire sign of Aries. Clarify the Two of Pentacles for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus, and you guys should be in your north node or your highest vibration. Mm, thank you, spirit. Oh, two cards fell out for the two of pentacles. Okay. Hmm. You're not sure if you want to uh, accept this person's apology. This person may be coming to charm you, coming to sweep you off your feet, bring you some type of gift, or make a romantic gesture. This is you. Trying to surprise your person with something here. Um, I do feel like this person has a lot of love and emotion for you. But I feel like someone will be coming back to say they're sorry. And I feel like you may be weighing up the pros and the cons about the situation. If you want this person to come and apologize. Because you're not so sure. In fact, it's leaving you all up in your head now. You know, replaying things that may have happened between you and this person over and over and over again in your mind. And it's, it's, it's causing you to think negatively and be trapped in a prison of your own thoughts, okay? This person whom you could be dealing with may have psychological issues, like mental shit going on. And I do feel like, you know, someone feels stuck, trapped in a situation they don't want to be in. They may feel blocked. They may feel like they can't move. This may be how your person feels. You know, they were juggling you and another person and they want to come to apologize. But I feel like this person may be feeling stuck. They want to move forward with it, though. They want to move forward towards you. All right. And temperance is here. They're being patient. And they're waiting. Whether this is you or them, take their energy how it resonate. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to flip it over. Flip it around. If it's not you, it's them. Why is the chariot here? It could be dealing with the cancer. Why is the chariot here for Aries in love? Why is the chariot here? <clears throat> Excuse me. For the month of September 2021. Thank you. The two cards then fell. Y'all know I like jumpers. So. Wow. So I feel like. Okay. This is what you're going to do. You're indecisive as to if you want this person to come back and apologize for what they've done. This person's not going to come in empty-handed. They're going to try to sweep you off your feet and charm you because they feel like they know how to get you to that point where they could draw you back in. But I feel like you may be um, stuck in your head, replaying things over and over again in your mind because you know how this person's energy is. And I feel like you feel trapped. You feel stuck in a situation for some of you that you probably don't want to be in. For some of you, um, you're, for like a small percentage of you, you're not sure if you want this person to come in and apologize. Maybe you didn't know where they were. But some, for some of you, this person was locked up. For some of you, like a small portion of you. Not a lot of you. But I do feel like this situation has you feeling stuck, trapped. Okay, you may have blocked this person and moved. You may have relocated because what's clarifying the chariot, you may have relocated and cut this person out of your life. You cut this person out of your life. You cut people, places, and things out of your life that no longer serve you. And this happened very quickly. This move <clears throat> had to, it, it needed to be a change with the Eight of Wands. This is change. 
So something definitely changed. And I feel like you moved forward pretty quickly. Okay, with this, this looks like a decision. I feel like you moved forward pretty quickly. Okay, and cut this person out of your life. But I do feel like, you know, you guys have relocated. Okay, to a different city, state, country. And you may have done this very quickly. There may be a swift change in your energy. But you're just moving really, really, really fast. You're cutting people, places, and things out of your life that no longer serve your highest good anymore. And I do feel like, you know, you're very smart and intelligent, very intellect, intellectual. This is your person. You really know um, what to do. And I feel like you're making head over heart decisions and you're standing firm in your decisions. Okay, I do feel like you're thinking very logically and practical about the situation here. And I feel that, you know, you may make a decision to move away from someone. Okay, but this person may be coming and demanding truth and clarity from you because you cut them off. They're trying to play it cool and detached like they don't give a fuck. But they do because they feel like you're leaving them behind. So they're demanding truth and clarity. They want to know why you moving away, why you leaving them. And this, like I said, is your baby's daddy that you're dealing with or a father figure. Okay, this person is mad as hell, okay? And now they want to fight for the relationship. Okay, they want to fight for the relationship. They want to fight for you. All right, y'all may start arguing, fussing, or fighting, okay? Why is that high priestess here? But I feel like overall you're keeping quiet about this. I feel like you're not planning on telling this person this. But this person, they want to move towards you. They want to they wanna talk to you because you cut them out of your life. And you just went no contact with the narcissist. I'm seeing the high priestess here just like I'm getting no contact vibes. So I feel like you're no contact with this person, with a narcissist or... I don't see a narcissist here, but I'm just saying, um, I mean, if somebody's playing mind games with you and they're lying, cheating, stealing, and being deceptive, you know, they have narcissistic traits, I'm just saying. Why is the high priestess here? Clarify the high priestess, but I feel like, you know, you're cutting these people out of your life and these things because this is what the intuition told you to do. This is what your spirit guides and your angels and whoever you pray to told you to do. You're keeping quiet from this person. This person may not be taking action. Or this is you listening to your intuition, but you're not taking action. It's somebody here not taking action. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like you're not going to rush in to try to send this person no message or some news. You're not going to try to send them um like a nasty message, cursing them out. You know, you probably was thinking about doing that at first, like rushing in. Or this person was thinking about rushing in to see you some news or a message where it would cause y'all to have a heated discussion or an argument. But I feel like there's there's not going to be a heated discussion or an argument going on here. There's not going to be, you know, taking any action towards this person. All right. And they're motherfucking shocked. They're shocked and appalled. Okay. Because they're not used to people telling them no. They're used to getting what they want. Okay. When they manifest, they get it. Wow. I'm going to leave that night of swords in reverse. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I did clarify the um, high priestess with the knight of swords in reverse. Oh, boy. I just shuffled, and I didn't even realize that. All right, I'm, here we go. I'm about to shuffle till I find it again. Yeah, so you you're keeping quiet and you're not you're not taking action towards this person at all. You you went no contact with them. You're not sending them any messages or any news or there's no need to send them anything like that. Okay, because I feel like you're keeping all of this information to yourself. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Gemini Libra Aquarius Air Energy. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. I hope you guys are in your highest vibrational energies because if not, you will be. Wow, the world card, the ace of swords, the five of swords, the moon. Yeah, you're not taking any action towards them. As a matter of fact, this cycle is closed between you and this person. This relationship is over. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Leo, a Aries. I'm sorry, a Taurus and um, Libra. I say Libra already, Aquarius. 
this cycle is over. This cycle is closed out. I feel like you're starting a brand new cycle. There's a lot of travel in your energy in the month of September. And, you know, this cycle is closing out. It's over between you and this person because the truth obviously came out, okay? And I feel like you have this clarity. Like, you know exactly what's going on. Your intuition's been telling you this shit. You know what's going on. You have clarity. The truth came out. Or it's this person wants to talk to you. They want to be honest and bring you the truth. They want to have a truthful heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. All right? Take it how it resonates, you guys. But I feel like the truth came out. This is the truth. They were playing mind games with you. Playing games with you. Trying to get over on you. Trying to win you at all costs because it's an ego thing. It's not a love thing. All right? This person wants to win at all costs. They don't like losing. They don't. This person could be a sore loser. That's what I'm feeling. Like sore loser vibes. They don't like losing a game or a, a girl or a guy. This person is a sore loser. And I feel like you're you're you you're wanting to walk away from conflict with this person. This is somebody that you are not speaking to. This is somebody that you've had a falling out with. All right. That's why you had a falling out with this person. Because the truth came out or they told you the truth. Like, look, I've been playing games. All right. Somebody has been playing games with you. Mind games. But I feel like you're being smarter and you're being wiser about the decisions that you are making. I feel like you're cutting through the bullshit and you're closing out cycles. I also, I'm seeing that. This truth came out. You found out about this. You got the clarity. Somebody been playing games. You feel like somebody's playing mind games with you, playing games with you, playing games with your heart. This person's very secretive. Sis, yo, bro, this person's mad secretive. They keep secrets from you. The the high priestess is, is here with the moon card. This person is extremely secretive, and there's something hidden that you don't know about yet. Your intuition is telling you like there's some secrets here, but you um didn't know about it okay there could be more secrets than you thought okay this little this person playing these mind games they lying they cheating they stealing being deceptive and you cutting them out of your life you shouldn't appear twice as the queen of swords okay i do feel like this person is keeping a lot from you still this person could have cheated they could have cheated on you they could have did a whole lot of shady shit behind your back this person's been playing games with you, doing shady shit behind your back, all right? And I feel like they're very extremely secretive, and you're not speaking to them. And this, you know, made you feel... You may have been all up in your feelings or masking your emotions. You may have uh, been feeling down. But I feel like somebody here plays mind games out of fear... They play mind games out of fear. And, you know, this person is very confused. They could be having psychological issues, y'all. This person likes drama. There's too much drama with them. Their family gets involved. Their friends get involved, you know. Y'all be fussing, fighting, and arguing and shit. And outside in public, people watching and shit, recording and shit like that. And I do feel like, you know what I'm saying? It's because... Of the options this person has. They're keeping you as a fuck option. They got their options open. They entertain multiple fucking people. Multiple people they entertain in here. They fantasize. They're living in a fantasy land. Okay? It's like wishful thinking. It, it's never going to happen. But this person is living their life in an illusion. And I feel like you're seeing through the illusion. All right, because you found out some new knowledge. You 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 didn't gain some new knowledge, a new perspective. You didn't find out some shit. Somebody went spying on somebody's social media. You could have been spying on somebody's phone, they email, they text, whatever. You could have hired a, a private investigator for some of y'all. But somebody went spying, researching, trying to figure things out. You could have saw something. Where now you're holding back. There's an age gap between you and this person. 
But I do feel like this person, for some of y'all, y'all may be in school, like high school or some shit. College or some shit. You a student at like a university or some shit. But I do see, um, there is like, you know, this person's mad secretive. And there is like immature, premature communication that you two have with each other. And I feel like you holding back because they confuse you. You know, they make you want to go spy on them because you're seeing through the illusion. And they make you want to do research and spy on them. Mm -mm -mm. So once you're inspiring or researching, whoever this is, let's go back to the first card like I always do. I feel like you're going to end up divorcing this person if you two are married. You may take them to court. Or you may be facing some legal issues where you, you, you're you getting divorced or sued or somebody's taking you for child support or alimony. But I do feel like, you know, whatever this court thing is, this is going to be a small challenge. This person's going to try to put you to the test. And I feel like it's going to go in your favor. It's going to be a wrap. Okay, especially with the world card here, it is a wrap. This is your destiny. This is your destiny. Your justice is coming to you. Balance is coming to you. Okay, this is your destiny. This is something that the universe is bringing to you. I feel like things are going to be looking on the up and up for you. Things are going to be looking good for you. You're going to be having a lot, a lot of unexpected changes happening to you in your life because the universe is showing up. You may be seeing 1111 a lot. Or if you know, notice, if you come to my channel, 1111 is there. All right? So you may be seeing that 1111 as soon as you come into my channel. And, you know, this is destined. This is the universe bringing you your justice. And I feel like you're manifesting some financial issues here. You're manifesting financial financial um, opportunities. Did I say issues? Opportunities. Where you're going to have stability. You're going to have that grounded energy, that security. And I feel like you're going to be financially well off. Your money going to be looking good. You're going to be making a whole lot of money, honey. This court thing is going to make an unexpected turn. But you're going to be offered some money, and you think it's a small offer, but honey, you're going to have a whole pack. Honey, you're going to have a whole package. You, your ass about to be rich, or for some court shit, okay? For some, for, for some, uh, for another group of you, okay? You're going to get your balance. You're going to get your justice. This is the universe handing this to you, especially with the Page of Pentacles showing up next to the Wheel of Fortune. Things going to be looking good for you. Things are going to go in your favor. The wheel's going to turn in your favor. You feel like this person was unjust to you. This is a karmic cycle. They kept repeating itself. Somebody wants to reach out. This may be your husband. But again, things are going to be looking on the up and up for you. Okay? Um, and I do see that somebody is coming to make an offer to you. This is destined to happen. This could be someone new here. This person is financially well off. This person is loyal, stable, grounded. They come in to bring you security. They have boundaries. This person is the whole package. This person is going to love you for exactly who you are with the king of pentacles here. This person is not here to play games. Okay, and I feel like very soon you're going to be dealing with this person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And it's going to motherfucking shock you. You're going to be like, wow, this is unexpected. I didn't believe this could happen. You're going to be like, fuck. Like, everything that's about to happen to you in your life, Aries, it's going to fuck your head up. It's going gonna, it's gonna to shock you. Okay? It's going to shock you. Okay? And I do feel like for those of you who get in this money, you're going to be looking at some documents from your lawyer because the page of swords is here too. I feel like some of you got a young lawyer if you, um, you know, have some legal issues going on here in your life. But I feel like it's going to go in your favor. This is this is the universe helping you through this. This is the universe putting this in your favor. Your luck and fortune is going to change. And I feel like money is going to be offered to you. You're going to have, you may have your own business or run a business where you're going to be financially freaking stable and well off. You're going to be damn near rich or rich, okay? Or you're going to meet somebody like this who is rich, 
who wants to take care of you. This person wants to provide for you. This person, this king of pentacles, this person wants to give you his heart on, man, look. Y'all some lucky bastards, male or female. And you're going to be shocked. This is going to be like, this is going to happen abruptly, like quick. This is going to come in quick for you. You're not even going to be expecting it. This going to catch you off guard, okay? Like, whoa. <laughs> All right, wow. Let's get to your person's energy. This person whom you cut off. Let's figure out what their energy is like. What does this person have to say to Aries before we close out? I like this reading. It's like you've been through it, but as you're coming, you're stepping into your happily ever after. Oh, this is you. You can't come with me. I am happy it's over. I feel like that's you. You're going to be happy this is over. You're going to be so happy. I'm waiting for an apology. Yeah. This person's coming to, to apologize. They are. Some of y'all, they've been in jail. Some of y'all, they got psychological issues. Some of y'all, you know, this person just feels... Stuck, you might have blocked them, they feel trapped. Look, I want to tell you so much. See, y'all not speaking right now. This person does not know what to say. They feel guilty. I'm surprised the nine of um swords is not here. Okay, they I pretended you didn't mean that much. Yeah, they've been ignoring you on purpose to try to detach, especially with that king of swords that was showing up. Okay, this person wanted to be left alone because you cut them off. Anything Aries person wants to say? Anything else? Anything else before we close out for Aries? I'm around with Venus. Aries person. What does Aries person want to say? What does Aries person want to say? To Aries. Any messages? This is you, Aries. I need to focus on my healing. This is you. After this person apologizes, you're going to focus on your healing. I've been there before with others. So I feel like this is a mutual energy where you two have repeated the same cycle before in different relationships, especially with the Wheel of Fortune showing up here. But you feel like this cycle has repeated with this person. You feel like this person did something unjust to you. The cycle's repeating. You feel like this person's giving you the bare minimum. And you want somebody or you want to meet somebody that has the whole package. You were you were in a stable, long term relationship with this person that you're dealing with, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person gives you the bare minimum, but they rich, they got money, they stable, they grounded, they could give you everything that you want. But there was a sudden shake up or break up here where, you know, this was unexpected for your partner, and now your partner is spying on your ass. Okay. <laughs> So that concludes our reading, Aries. If you would like a personal reading, make sure you look in the description box down below underneath the video. This was highly requested. Uh, a lot of people were asking me to bring back my $50 personal reading special. So they are back for a limited time, but they are not going to last that long. Look in the description box for that information. Thank you guys so much for the ones who donated to the channel and who tipped my cash app. Thank you so very much, guys. I appreciate it. I'm so happy and grateful for you guys. If you want to, you have the free will too. That information is in the description box down below for the ones that have not yet. And if nobody has told you they love you today, Aries, I'm telling y'all that I love y'all. I love y'all so much. Until next time, bye Aries. See you in the next one.